Oppo's working on something different. Well, they're working on everything too, but they're working on something different specifically. We also referenced in the past, but they've now refined it even further. The underscreen front-facing camera, there's a new prototype that was unveiled that refined the technology so that the front-facing camera and the pixels that it occupies were able to shrink even further. We have a device they're showing off with absolutely no ports, no openings, nothing, a slab, a monolith, the future. Very interesting, exciting as far as I'm concerned. You know what's amazing though, Will? When everybody goes this direction, which seems inevitable, you got just a bunch of cameras on the back and a sealed slab. Mm -hmm. What's going to differentiate a phone? Not much. Software. Software, maybe. But even there, when you talk about Android, it's kind of the same deal. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying I mind. It's it's cool if everybody more people get their hands on this, but we're all we're gonna be carrying around bricks unless the foldable thing takes off. But who really knows where that lines up? I think this is more likely, particularly since on the previous one we were talking about the iPhone giving up on ports. Mm. And if Oppo can prove this concept in a commercial uh, product that you don't even have to have the cutout for the front-facing camera, but instead those pixels turn off, well, we're going to be looking at a lot of devices that look pretty identical. Oh, yeah. From, from all the manufacturers. So there's some other features that this particular version showed off, this prototype, including 30-watt fast charging. That's not that exciting. A 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Imagine that, 30-watt charging, not that exciting. Only because we just talked about 50 on the P40 Pro and because we talked about 100 from Xiaomi on the previous episode. It's out of hand. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty wild. Uh, but that's not, that's not exactly what's exciting about this one for me. The phone's power key and volume rocker are designed with pressure sensitivity. No buttons there. The entire body has zero openings or buttons. All right? And then on the front of it, you have full display. And it looks like a symmetrical bezel as well, which has been the hard thing to come by. Maybe the chin's a bit fatter, but I can't really tell. So it's kind of the dream for people that pay attention to this stuff. Granted, uh, I mean, you've got to be a bit of a pervert in the first place to, be, to need that in your life. Mm -hmm. A symmetrical bezel, aggressive screen-to-body ratio. Imagine saying this in your spare time. Imagine waking up and saying that in the mirror. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you have a coffee, you head to the mirror, and those are the words you say to yourself. Aggressive screen to body ratio. That's I mean, how many times have I said it? <laughs> well, that's the dream, right? Everyone wants this. Yeah, it's science fiction. This is what we're all looking for. We're yeah. looking for the sci fi future. And you know what's becoming clear to me as these forms become increasingly simple is that the future is for sure minimal. For sure. The, the future is minimal and it's similar and discrepancies are going to be minor in our choices. Even though the Cybertruck, for example, looks striking from a distance, it's way fewer lines. It's only lines where they're necessary mm -hmm. to create the shape to house the, like they eliminated so many contours and curves and bodywork that would typically happen on a, on, a, on a car in 2019. And even though their thing looks like the, outlier it's actually more minimal than the alternatives we're just used to the alternatives mm -hmm. including their interiors as well the tesla interiors so even though i still have a bit of a soft spot for knobs and dials and kind of steampunky future the blade runner future i don't think so it's not the future no i don't think it is mm -hmm. unfortunately i think it's a lot more like this portless slab this monolithic portless slab I think a lot of our things are going, going to trend towards the minimalistic. And once you start going minimal and peeling things away, you end up with forms that can't really be all that different yeah. by nature because those lines and contours aren't available to you because the demand is not there because people want the minimal approach and aesthetic. So... Anyway, you're going you're gonna to probably see this tech eventually in every single phone, I would imagine. Mm. I don't see why not. Of course, it's important to note that the pixels 
that are that are being utilized here to hide the front facing camera on this device they're smaller but you can still see it and we'll zooming in right now to give you a better idea you can still see the location of the front facing camera there of course this this device is twisted and you got in the focus point on the camera that took the photo is trying to accentuate where it is in in practical usage you're probably not really going to pick it up other than when you're using the front facing camera you're not going to see that it's even there so i think eventually we see this on every single device and i can't imagine why it wouldn't be mm -hmm. at some point 